Political uncertainty remains high in the UK as Prime Minister Boris Johnson renewed his efforts to seek an election next month after a first attempt was defeated yesterday. He will be making a speech later today to seek the public's support for his bid. Lawmakers want to make sure the Brexit deadline of the 31st of October is extended by three months before they will agree on an election date. But there is no guarantee that the EU will grant the UK a third extension. Well, Boris Johnson's office has also reiterated that the Prime Minister will not ask the EU for another delay. And for more, Ollie Barrett joins us live from London. Ollie, Mr Johnson wants to appeal to the people. What are his chances of getting any kind of consensus on this? Well, consensus is very hard to come by in the UK at the moment, be that uh, as, part of the, uh, as part of public opinion or with regards to the House of Commons and Parliament, as we've uh, seen repeatedly over many months. With regards to an election, though, Boris Johnson is not far off the consensus he needs to get his election. It's just a case of timing. The opposition Labour Party is still saying that it will not allow there to be a snap election until the legislation designed to avoid a no-deal Brexit has passed all the way through the Houses of Parliament. Now, that may have finished up by Friday, and the government is saying that on Monday of next week it will bring another vote to the House of Commons to try and win approval for a general election. The Labour Party, therefore, has a huge decision to make in the coming days. There are some in the Labour Party opposition leadership who believe that an election as soon as possible is the right way to go, given that they have been calling for an election now for many months. There are some, though, in the Labour Party higher hierarchy who are very worried about giving Boris Johnson an election uh, on his timetable and some of those figures in the Labour Party believe the election should take place in November or December when a no deal Brexit has uh, possibly been avoided. So some division in the Labour ranks and that's why we don't yet know when the election is going to be. It's coming soon though. Yeah, Ollie, if the EU does not grant the UK a third extension, what other options are there? Well, certainly that would be the nuclear option from the European Union. And there are even some here in London who are wondering whether that is what Boris Johnson is banking on, that he is uh, hoping that if he is the Prime Minister that is forced to go to Brussels and seek an extension, uh, that Brussels will turn it down because it can't get unanimous approval from all member states, states, which is what would be required. In that scenario, if Boris Johnson remains as Prime Minister, and it is still an if, at this stage, then he would be uh, the Prime Minister that may end up taking Britain out of the European Union on a no-deal basis. Now, his government insists that Britain is much better prepared for a no-deal Brexit than it had been previously, and that while there would be choppy waters, that those choppy waters could be dealt with. There are many MPs in Boris Johnson's own Conservative Party, though, who are deeply concerned about a no-deal Brexit. Some of them have voted against him over the last few days. His is still uh, a government that is very precarious indeed. He's running a minority government. His brother uh, has just said he can't serve with Boris Johnson anymore in the Conservative government. So uh, he really has been boxed into a corner here and, and Boris Johnson faces a very difficult few days, if not weeks. Well, thanks for getting us up to speed. Ollie Barrett speaking to us from London.